reported gun battle. A man in the hospital, now in Omaha neighborhood, left with bullet holes in at least one home, reacts. KATV News Watch 7's Chindon is on the Crime Watch live near 66th and Sorensen Parkway. Throughout the crime scene spans several blocks in this area overnight into the morning. From a car window shot out at this apartment complex behind me to a home with a, two apparent bullet holes, one in the garage and one near the front door. But wait, there's more down the street. One mom even found unused bullets scattered around her car. It's two people. I know that. And they had to have been shooting at each other. Stephanie Benson describes a rolling gun battle in this neighborhood near 66 and Sorensen, staying at least behind more than fear. A car window busted, plus bullet holes on this home and garage door. Several nearby called about the shooting around 11:30 Tuesday night. Benson says she heard eight to ten gunshots lasting a couple minutes. It just needs to stop. It needs to stop. But it didn't. Omaha police say around the same time, this 20 year old Malik Watson, shown in a previous booking photo, showed up at Emanuel Hospital with gunshot wounds. Then, police found a vehicle here near 42nd and Pinckney with bullet hole damage at the hospital. Watson told officers he was in that vehicle, but he had no idea why it was being shot at. And this mom of four also has no idea why more than two dozen unused bullets were lying around her car. Well, it was scary. I thought maybe somebody just threw them out the window and dumped them everywhere. But then we saw the crime lab down the street, um, which was a little unnerving. Judd's 12 year old son heard the commotion. He said he heard a couple of booms and like a skidding sound. Now she's thankful for the sound of her kids laughing and playing. I'm glad it happened that late at night, um, you know, because we wouldn't have been outside. As neighbors clean up their streets, they hope criminals clean up their acts. It just needs to stop. It needs to stop. They're going to end up killing innocent people. They have killed innocent people. It just needs to stop. And we've confirmed with police Malik Watson was arrested for a drive by shooting last April. This time he's been treated and released. His family tells me he's doing fine. Reporting live near 66 in Sorensen Parkway, Chindon, KETV, Newswatch 7. Our next story takes us to.